Yeah, this is kind of um, strange behavior for a sailboat in the water. It's not going anywhere, sail's not up, motor's not on. Halyards are all twisted. No sign of anyone. Well, this is one awfully abandoned sailboat, Wolfhound from the Irish Yacht Club. I have no idea what's inside. I'm gonna go search around. I hope I don't find any dead bodies or anything crazy like that. This place was left in a absolute wreck. I can hear water, I can hear water splashing around underneath of me. I'm afraid to open doors and cabinets. Afraid of what I might find around the corner. Hello? It's ridiculous items. Well, no dead bodies. Thank God. Thank God. This is absolutely crazy, by the way. Here I am, 800 miles from Bermuda, 1,500 miles from the United States, standing on a very nice Swan 48. I think it's a Swan 48. Yep. Standing on a very nice Swan 48 in the middle of the ocean, when just this morning I woke up on a 42-foot Colvin Gazelle. And here I am. So, this is day two. Uh, we've been dragging this thing for a little less than 24 hours. We've made it about 50 miles. Uh, it's kind of funny because we're towing a 48-foot boat with a 42-foot boat. This boat is uh, longer and is definitely heavier uh, than my boat. Yet we're doing our best to try to get her to Bermuda. We were running low on fuel after spending 47 days in the ocean. So we convinced a passing freighter to stop and give us 50 gallons of diesel. But after another couple of days of pulling the boat, our engine ended up breaking. So now we had two boats, both with broken engines. We spent another three days trying to pull this boat with just our sails alone until the weather picked up quickly and we had to cut the boat free as the line wrapped around our rudder, uh, threatening to break it off. After cutting free the abandoned ship, the wind died and we were becalmed for 23 days in the Atlantic, in the doldrums. But eventually we made it close enough to Bermuda to get towed in by the pilot ship.